good morning my dear students now today again i am discussing python with you because this is new language introduced for you now first thing i want to discuss that what is data type and what type of error it can create while writing the codes so when we are taking the height and width of uh, a triangle from the user our program is like this you will use three comma as apostrophe comma to make a comment and the question is write a program to find the area of a triangle take base and height from the user again you will use three apostrophe comma to end the comment now b is equal to if i am writing input enter the base now what is the problem here you can easily understand we have to write data type again if h is equal to i am writing input enter the height and if area half into b into h now print the area is comma area now in this case you can easily understand that if b we have taken from user so it should be the data type while calculation time it will produce the error second thing if you will remove the comma single comma then also it will give you error so this is a big error it will not give you answer so you have to use the data type so this bracket is for this one and this bracket is for the last one so int b and h is equal to int this now your program will work properly now the second thing i want to discuss this is also the main thing that you must know how to swap the value first thing uh, that when you will input the number it will be stored in a variable and uh, when you will enter the second number it will update the first one it will update the first variable let's an example if a is equal to 15 i have taken and b is equal to 23 i have taken so you can give the print message that you entered you entered a and b apostrophe comma close comma a comma b now if a comma b i am writing is equal to b comma a so this is a simple statement to swap the numbers in this you can see this first a will represent this means b will be stored in a and the second value will represent the second value so the second value will hold this second so in a b will come in b a will come now you can give the print message print swap values are a and b so like this you have to uh, be clear that how you are writing the codes and what should be the output of this so this was the program to swap the 
number. Now some tab function and slash n functions are given in your syllabus. So what is the use of tab function? This is used to give the spaces between the values. For example, if a is equal to 10, b is equal to 20, c is equal to 30, you can print print a comma b comma c. So simply you will get the answer 10 with slight space 20 with slight space 30. Now if I am using print a comma slash t b comma slash t c now you uh, you can see easily I, I have used slash t in between the variables so slight more spaces will be given. So tab function is used to produce slight more spaces in between the variables that we want to print. Now what is the use of slash n function? If the variable a is equal to 10, b is equal to 20, c is equal to 30 and you are printing print a, b and c then simply you will get the answer 10, 20 and 30. Then second print, print if a slash n comma b comma slash n comma c. If I am using this then what will be the answer? I have written the variable slash n in between every variable. This is the escape sequence. Now a means 10, then it will change the line 20 and then it will change the line 30. So for line change, you can use this slash n. This is the new line statement. Next is the and function and sap function. So what is the uh, use of these two functions? This I want to show you. In this you can see if two prints are there, print hello and print world. So what will be the output of this? First I am discussing this end function. So your output will be in two different lines hello and world. Now if you want to produce the output in single line, so two times print you can use but here you have to update comma end is equal to this. So what will happen? Two print statement will not produce the two different lines. It will give you the output in single line means hello and then after world will come. So end function removes the line change command. This is uh, I hope clear to you. If you don't want to change the line if you have more than two print functions and you don't want to change the line so you will use the end function to remove the line change statement. Now next is our SEP. This is very interesting and you will like this also. What is SEP? SEP you can use any character here also that I will show you. So if A is equal to 10, B is equal to 20, C is equal to 30. That is an example this is. If simply you are giving the print, print and you want to produce the output like 10 at the rate 20 at the rate 30. This output should come. So how will you produce this kind of output? First method is A comma 
single quotes at the rate then b comma single quote c then the value of a will come so it is 10 then you have given in single quote so at the rate will come then you have given b means 20 then you have given at the rate so at the rate will come and you can find the third value this is 30. Now you can easily understand that we have to use the symbols many times as we want the output. The second method is very easy. Second method is print a comma b comma c comma s e p is equal to comma at the rate and close. This is the use of separator function. Now in this what will happen? The value of a b c will come and in between every variable the symbol which you have given that will come. Means if you are using at the rate symbol then it will come. If you are using a dot 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 then it will come. So according to your symbol given, your preference given, it will insert the value inside the variables. Now go through these practicals, it will be more clear to you. Oh, my dear students, with a few examples, I will try to explain the revision part. Find the output of the following. Now come to the script mode. In this, a is equal to 10. B is equal to 45. C is equal to B minus A. And if A is hello now, so your Python interpreter will update the last value. You will get the value of A as hello. You will not get 10. 10 will be lost. So this is the case of low data binding. You have to understand this that always you will get the last updated values from the Python interpreter. That's why it is coming hello only. This you have to understand that last updated value will be shown to you. A was 10 but it is lost due to the low data binding. Now few questions in this you will understand that what is data type. Write a program to find the area of triangle and uh, you have to take the base and height from the user now what common mistake we are doing while taking the values this i am going to show you in this we will use b input enter the base you can check easily that I have not used data type here. In the next height also input enter the height. I have not used the data type again. So in this area half into B into H I have written it will accept the base and height but it will show you error now here the print the area is now again I have committed one mistake here I have not written the comma and it will show you the error now find the error one comma it will tell you 
that you have to uh, write the comma so invalid syntax it is showing red we have to use comma we forget to write comma here now it is okay now it will accept the value but it will not give you answer now it will give get the value in a string format because uh, a print function by default it will show you the string you can see the error now what is the error we have not given data type now again come to the program and write here integer type because we want the values in number format and you have to close the brackets properly now the base is 12 and height is 15 you can see the area is coming area is 90 so this is the main thing that we have to deal with the data type and we have to take care of the syntax means where comma is needed at that point we have to write the comma now the next is program to take two numbers from user and swap the numbers and swap the numbers in this a is 12 and b is 23 now print one message i am giving that before swapping what you have entered what you have given and before swapping uh, you entered the values of a and b comma a comma b so the value which you is the given first that will be shown to you now swap it a comma b and b comma a means first value will uh, take the value of first and second value will take the value of second so b comma a you can see here a will take the value of b and b will take the value of a now the swapped value is now the swapped value is A and B you can see the answer here last and downside I'm showing you 12 and 23 is the number you have given and the swapped value is 23 and 12 so by this simple method you can swap the value this is the main thing here that already theoretically I have discussed with you now next is program to take five subject marks uh, this already we have uh, solved already I have solved and already I have uh, shown you answers also now leave it now small code to show the demo means uh, slash we have discussed slash t and slash n we have discussed so I will show you all a is 12 b is 13 and c is 14 so while printing slash t and slash n we are using a b and c so you will get the answer simple in one line and if you are using slash n then line will be changed then again slash n line will be changed
slash n upside uh, we used to mention now this is the first case in which uh, a b c will be there and uh, how the line will be changing that i am showing you in the next case a slash t comma b means in between every variable i am giving slash t slash t so it will give me space b comma slash t comma c now you will find the space save it and run it any name c dot py you can give now to pressing f5 you can see the difference of spaces 12 13 14 is slight closer and 12 13 14 is at far distance due to this slash t now if you want to give some spaces in line also then use slash n and slash n also means two time you will use two line space you will give you can see the difference of line it is showing so this is the use of slash n and slash t now the separator or the end function which we have discussed now the sep function sep function is used to give certain uh, type of outputs and it will insert the symbol in between all the variables like print a b c if I want to insert at the red symbol in between every variable so ABC is coming simply in this case you can see 10 20 and 30 it is coming now the if I want at the red symbol then I can write at the red symbol everywhere you can see at the red symbol is coming but with the single separator function we can do this very quickly remove all these now at the end write only comma sep at the red symbol now you can see at the red symbol is coming in between all the variables this is the main thing that separator function will give you if you will use this four dots then four dot will come if you will use any other type of design then that design will come one two one star then two dots then this will come to you i hope you understand this students so whatever you will write in separator function that will be inserted inside the variables thank you students read the book and be sure be clear it thank you